Good day, grade sense. Welcome to your next lesson on trigonometry. In today's lesson, we're going to just apply what we learned in the previous questions, where we're going to use basically what we call 2D problems. We're going to solve 2D problems. But 2D problems are just really normal solving triangle equation problems, but we add a little bit of words. So it's a bit of a word problem combined with solving the triangle. Before we do that, we need to learn some terminology. So, let's look at this. We've got an angle of elevation and an angle of depression. So let's say, for example, we've got a little person here, I don't know, A, so let's call them Anne. And Anne is standing here, and we'll give a little bit of hair, curly hair, and she is looking up at the top of the cliff. The angle to the horizontal that she's looking up with is called the angle of elevation. So the angle with which she's looking up from the base to the top of the cliff is called the angle of elevation. However, if we've got someone that is, say for example, lying at the top of the cliff, I don't know, let's call him Clifford, why not? And he's looking down at Anne, yes Anne again, Okay, he has her hair. Then he is looking with an angle of depression. The reason I've got him lying down is because this angle is always with respect to the horizontal. So if we're looking up the angle with respect to the horizontal that we're looking up at is called the angle of elevation. And the angle of depression is the angle down from the horizontal. Right, now let's do a couple of examples that use this terminology. So first of all, we've got sepal. Let's draw Sipo, as you wear. My drawings are never that great. And he has got a nice string, and he's got a beautiful diamond shaped kite with a little tail. He has his tail. Okay, right. Don't know if you guys ever flew a kite. I did when I was young, and I had lots of strings with tails. Okay, he flies it, and this is 15 meters long. His string is 50 meters long. And if he looks up from the point with which he holds it, this angle of elevation is 58 degrees. 58 degrees. So they want to know the height that the kite is actually at. So the first thing we do is realize that this is a 90 degree triangle. So what do we do? We write Sakatoa. Sakatoa. We've got the hypotenuse, so we can go tick, tick. We want the height, but the height is opposite to the 58 degrees, so therefore it is opposite. So therefore we're going to be using sine. So we know that sine of 58 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is the h, over 15. Therefore we've got 15 times the sine of 58 degrees is equal to h and then we find our calculator and we pop it in so we just clear it so we know what we're doing we go 15 times sine of 58 and we end up with 12.72 so therefore the height of the kite is 12.72 meters let's look at another example in this one, we've got Jill, and Jill is standing at the base of a, meet, a building, which is 100 meters away. They tell us that this angle here is 43 degrees, and they want to know how tall is the building. So again, because we've got a right angle triangle, because we assume that all our buildings are built straight up, so because of this, we can say, okay, fine, we've got the adjacent side. So we go tick, tick. And we want the height of the building, which is the opposite side to the angle. So that's that. So we're going to say tan of 43 degrees is equal to the height of the building, which is the opposite side, over 100. Therefore, we've got 100 tan of 43 degrees is equal to h. And again we're just going to pop out the calculator and we're going to go 100 times tan of 43 
and we see it's 93.251 which just runs down to 93.25 so therefore the height of the building is 93.25 meters. So grade 10, so can you see that the 2D questions when we're doing trig is exactly the same as the normal just solving for a triangle. Please get trends, do a lot of examples and then try the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.